Hello and welcome to a new video about Netball Balancer. Well, last time we built uh, this, this part yeah, and we built uh, up this part and so on. And then we realized with my rods, here are the rods, look at them. Yeah. These are the rods I produced, uh, the shafts where I wanted to put on the bearings and so on. And I just bought aluminium aluminium stuff uh, from the local hardware store and then I realized I cannot put the bearings on because they are in diameter they are not they are not made for this purpose simply uh, they are not made for this purpose so there is no tight fit this is simply nothing yeah tolerance tolerance passung in, in German yeah the passung was wrong so th this this one uh, this uh, I replaced I found one with High tolerance, okay, or low tolerance, yeah, accurate tolerance, yeah, good to pass on. Uh, and here you see this is how it should be that the bearing is put on and this is holding, the bearing is turning, everything fits perfectly together. This is mechanical engineering, okay, perfect tight fit. This one was I was not able to, yeah, so I thought, okay, if I have. These are leftover, leftovers from my from my Oga car here, <laughs> which never worked up to now at least. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'm using simply this one, but this material here seems to be very hard. Yeah. So I was not able, maybe because of my tools, but probably because of my skills, to cut the thread on this. Yeah. So I have now something which is not fitting where I was able to cut the thread because aluminium it was really easy to cut yeah uh, and this one very hard and accurate where I cannot put the thread on usually you'd go to someone who in a real application yeah? you should go to someone who cares yeah? who is good enough to do this yeah just have to look up a word uh, because this word is push in German push bundle in English because this is exactly what I'm going to do now because I'm going to replace this shaft yeah where here we would have been perfect if this fits yeah with this yeah ugly never ever do this in a real application <laughs> because you know look Look what is happening here. Yeah? This is the bearing. Yeah? It fits, yeah, but it also rocks there. So this is not a good this is not a good solution. Yeah? For this little how to call it? Uh, child's play, yeah. Application for this little application, uh, it's alright. Yeah? I just wanted to show you this is how it should look. Yeah? Put those away. Yeah? And now I bundle, make a bundle job, right? <laughs> because I really, I'm eager to know. I really want to see this working. Yeah? All right. So uh, first bearing. Yeah, this is the this is the uh, crank, and this is the push rod. Yeah? So this crank needs to go here, Ooh, on here, like that. The push rod then here. And the push rod should move this to left and right. Yeah? This is how this should work. So I'm going to connect. First, I will make this bearing. Yeah? So take a nut. All right. All right. That's number one. Good. And here, those axial bearings. Yeah? I'm not sure if you have noticed some of these axial bearings, they simply fall out and the other part of this axial bearing will stay in place. This is because those two parts, they are actually not the same. Yeah? They are actually not the same. One is a little bit bigger in diameter, one is a little bit smaller in diameter. Yeah? In my application, it does not really matter, but you should know that there is a difference in these two rings. So I will use the bigger one here and also the other bigger one here. 
but this is the wrong <laughs> not like that ah of course I would have also to put in my radial bearing inside here yeah good and the other bigger one here yeah. so this is now the bearing or maybe not what is the bigger one? Is this the bigger one now? Or is this the bigger one? This is the bigger one. Alright. So, this is now uh, the part of the bush rod. I have to connect it to here. So, I will make here whoop, one side of the bearing. Clack, clack. Then, this will go on here. Yeah. And then, here we have the other side of the bearing. Clack, clack. Clack, clack. And this will go on here. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can adjust the tension of the... Ah. <laughs> Good. Good. So this is... If I have to secure the, 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 the nuts with some glue or something like this, we will see. Because actually it's not rotating, it's just moving forth and back, so I'm not sure if this is necessary. Alright, so this is one thing. And the other thing is that this thing is now here, inside here, somehow. Yeah? And this somehow is realized with those parts. Look. Yeah? So this is the this is, this would be as it should be. This should go inside here, but in between we also need here this axial bearing and I will again use in the push rod the bigger one. Good, because then they're, sim uh, they're simply not falling out. <laughs> Good. Uh, then inside here, inside here. In which direction? In this direction? Is this, is this okay? okay? Like that. Okay. Then this one here. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here, then this one here, then this one here, and now the second part should cover or should bring all the stuff together. How does it feel? I don't know. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay, feels good now. Looks good. Feels good. Good. So screw it. Screw it. Now that I made it, I can screw it. I think it's, I think it's all right. Fix this part. Here I'm still missing, missing, missing. I'm still missing uh, M4 melting threads. They should be delivered by tomorrow. Here also. <laughs> all right. So that's it. Yeah. And now. I want to move this or connect this to, to, to here. Yeah, actually, this is the main bearing here. The main bearing. I will put it. I will put it on the base plate. Mm. Tightened. Mm -hmm. And here is the, the servo motor. Uh, well, we will see how this turns out. Because this actually should fit quite nicely. I will see. We will see. Okay. And now, we just have to mount this here. Like that. And everything should be fine. Because then, the servo motor, if the servo motor is turning, this should move. I will put in here now the radial bearings. Good. Here also, second radial bearing. And then, here, instead of, of this nice looking shaft, yeah, I will use this ugly one, like said. Never ever do this. Good. Put the bearing on. Like that. Put it in here and now move it in. Second bearing. Mm 
Oh, it's already movie, movie. <laughs> and now, now, now we see the reason why I produced it that way that we can move this back and forth here because now I can take the crank, move it in here. It should be all right. Now we're on. Let's see how this looks like, because actually the servo motor has a has a blocked position. It's here. All right. Okay. It's a little bit too far, and the other block position, it's here. It's a little bit too less. So actually, I have to move this. How much? By, by how much I have to move this? Two. Try. Try to move it by two teeth. Where are we now? Okay, looking good. We can be a little... Oh, this is now looking very good. In both directions we can go a little bit beyond the climax or maximum. Alright, so let's, let's fix this. Looking nice. Now, tighten the screws here. All right. Good, huh? Good. <laughs> now that's the base. That's the base of my Okay, and, and and the rods and so on, they will be delivered. Uh, then it will be 80, uh, 60 centimeters, so and this will then rock. Yeah, should, should work, should work. I want to see this moving. Until I get the other stuff delivered, I want to see this moving. Moving, moving, yeah. So I will plug this in my arena and see if I can control control this. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Next video. For this time. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> Goodbye.